How did you make $5,000 in two minutes? everybody it is Casey here I hope you are doing exceptionally well I told you guys I am back <laughs> so another video this week um, last week I did a video just talking about some changes that have gone on um, in the past couple months and um, that I'm no longer with I am Mastery Academy this week I wanted to come back and just share my opinion a little bit on um, some important things I think you guys should be paying attention to. The title of this video is Pips Not Profit. So I know here on YouTube there are several, several, several videos that focus on the amount of money made in a trade. And I think that a lot of new people have it backwards. It's one of the reasons I don't put money on my channel. I think I have one video where I talk about the potential earnings that could have been made off of a trade. I kind of focus on the charts. As you guys know, you've been watching for a while. I'm a technical trader. And so most of my videos that you'll see, I probably get more chart videos than I do videos like talking head videos. I want to just talk to y'all a little bit about focusing on pips, not profit. So it's funny because the videos where I talk about, you know, 400 pip, earnings, 250 pip earnings, 500 pip earnings, like I get no love. <laughs> Those are probably the lowest rated videos on my channel. And I just want to stress to people who are either new to the game or even been in the game for a while that don't be impressed by the amount of money somebody makes off of a trade. Look at their analysis, look at their chart, see how they arrived at, you know, what they thought was going to happen in the market and the potential outcome. The problem with the money is you can be over leveraging your account, right? And they don't, well, some of them do show you. I think I've seen a couple of videos on here where people are trading like crazy, crazy, crazy lot sizes. And it's like, okay. So you caught 20 pips and you traded at $200 a pip and you made $4,000. Okay. <laughs> but for a new person, that's like, wow. And then the, the kicker is uh, a lot of videos would be like, I made it in 30 minutes. I made it in two minutes. I made it in a minute. Like, I think that this whole Forex industry in the last maybe five or six years has been, um, how do I say this nicely cheapened or the skill has been cheapened by people who are advertising that it's like a get rich quick scheme and it is not it's the furthest thing from it I've tried that I've lost money I don't even want to tell y'all how much money I was losing when I first got started because I was pouring it in and I had been brought in uh, to the business with the understanding that, oh, I can learn something real quick and make a whole lot of money. And so I tried to do the things that I saw other people doing and it didn't work for me. <laughs> it didn't work for me at all. I would just caution you guys, you know, don't, I mean, it's a great thing that people are able to come up with strategies and they can be profitable like that. But I think the focus and the emphasis should be on the analysis. What is a technical analysis? You know, um, also a lot of those videos that are put up, they're not really a whole lot of pips. If you guys don't know, I'm a swing trader and I look for opportunities that I can get myself into and let the trade run for a week, two weeks, three weeks. And then just, you know, I'll be looking out for another setup, but it's not like I have to hop in, hop out, hop in, hop out. Like that's annoying and it costs money. Like these brokers don't work for free. They don't let you trade for free. So they're going to charge you for every trade that you take. And so if you're, you know, I think the saying was like 10 pips and dip. Who, who goes through all of that work? <laughs> Who goes through all of that work to catch 10 pips? So if you're looking at this video, I would encourage you either look at intraday trading or look at swing trading or even scalping, but scalp like responsibly. Don't scalp where you're over leveraged. And if a trade moves the wrong way, a couple pips, your entire account is blown. Um, that's how you keep throwing money down the drain. And then you'll be like, oh, 
Forex is a scam. It doesn't work. I lost money. Like, but you have to learn a strategy. You have to perfect it and you've got to get it to a point where you can reproduce that same result over and over and over. Now I chose swing trading because I got life to live and, <laughs> um, I, well, not even I got life to live. Like I can't sit, I'll have so much anxiety sitting and watching and waiting for something to happen. Like I'll probably cost myself more money than I would if I just get into a trade and let it do its thing because I'm going to be babysitting. I'm going to be on the phone. I'm going to be looking. I'm going to be, oh my God, oh my God, I need to close. I need to close. I'm going to be closing trades like prematurely and all that, all that other crazy stuff. So I just stick to swing trading. Um, it fits my personality. And I think that's the biggest thing that a lot of people have to understand and identify, like understanding what kind of person you are and what style of trading best suits like your personality. So that's something that you'll want to do. But again, I'm telling y'all, please don't be impressed by the big numbers. Yes, it's enticing. Yes, it's attractive. And yes, it's tempting. Like I want to do that too, but I'm telling you, Work on a strategy first. Demo, 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 demo all day. I think I went live after about a week. And again, y'all, I was losing money, like hemorrhaging <laughs> money left and right. So take your time in the market. And when you're looking, you know, on YouTube and you're looking at things, like if people are making good money and they have a great strategy, that's awesome. But if you see them like over leveraging, if you see them, um, you know, doing some things that just like you're trying to say, how did you make $5,000 in two minutes? Like the goal of this, again, is not get rich quick. Learning Forex is going to be a skill that you have to invest time in. And for some, it will be a slow process. For others, they may get it within the first, you know, three months, two months. But take your time. There's no rush. The market is not going anywhere. It's going to be here for you when you are ready. And it's better to be prepared with money in hand rather than not prepared and lost all your money in the market. So this is a combination video as well, though. I want to take a look at a trade that I marked out and I believe I did a video on back in January. Um, I'm late in the game. I did not do a review for the trade, but the trade was like 530 something pips, right? It was a winner. So I want y'all to take a look at it with me and um, let's see, let's break this down and look at it. All right, all right, all right. So I am gonna pull up um, a trade that I took way back when. This was at the beginning of the year and the move has already been made, but my point I wanna show y'all is again, market structure. So on this trade, I did a video. I'll drop a link to it or a card or something that pops up. I did an analysis here and I was looking for price to um, either be supported at this level or a potential entry at this zone. Um, I waited till I got confirmation in order to enter. But this trade was, let's see, 172. 536 pips from where I entered because it never came down this low. Um, it took off from here. So as you can see, we hit the target, uh, 500 and what did I say? 36 pips. And that trade, I marked it out in January. Um, this is where like patience <laughs> and, uh, emotional intelligence comes into play because this thing, it went up first and then it, it, it consolidated for a little bit then dropped back and retested this level. Um, probably looking for a deeper correction to see if price would go that low, but then it took off. So, um, it played out pretty well. I would advise if you are not marking up charts using Fibonacci, uh, or major support and resistance, identifying those areas that you probably should start. Um, I will put the link in this video where I went through step by step and I analyzed this trade. So these, you can like tell some really big moves. Um, some scalping techniques work for others, but for me, um, I have not been able 
I can't do that. My nerves are too bad. I'm too, um, yeah, my nerves are bad. I can't do that. So swing trade works for my lifestyle. You know, I go in, I analyze my chart and I'm getting much better at just letting the trades run and going and doing something else and not worrying about it. So I encourage you all to do the same. If you have not already checked out our Forex Facebook mastermind group, make sure you do. There's a link below this video. It's offered at no cost. Um, we get together on a pretty regular basis and we mark up charts. And then throughout the week, um, we may go live and look at some setups uh, and show you know, what we're looking at and what we're keeping an eye on. That's at no cost. So click the link below. Also, um, if you have not already subscribed to this channel, if this video was helpful for you, if it made any type of sense, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I try to come on pretty regularly and provide information for you all. And lastly, if this was helpful for you and you know somebody else that trades, send them the video <laughs> so they can look at it and uh, they can get to the pips too. So I appreciate you guys for watching. I will see you on the next video. I hope you have a fantastic Wednesday and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.